Navy Federal has been caught by the CFPB and they may owe you some money. We have new breaking news that just dropped November 2nd of 2024. The CFPB orders Navy Federal Credit Union to pay more than 95 million for illegal surprise overdraft fees. This is a huge breaking story that's coming across us from the CFPB. I did in fact tell you in the past that the CFPB was in fact investigating Navy Federal, but we didn't kind of hear anything about it afterwards. Well, because they were negotiating and they ordered Navy Federal to pay over $95 million for illegal overdraft fees. Now this is crazy because this is kind of similar to what happened to Wells Fargo and Bank of America. Is Navy Federal turning into one of the worst credit unions out there right now? But hold up, before we get into this video, make sure that you smash that like and subscribe button so this video can get out to more people so everyone can stay informed. So let's not waste any time, let's go ahead and just jump right into this video. From 2017 to 2022, Navy Federal charged customers surprise overdraft fees on certain ATM withdrawals and debit card purchases even when their account showed sufficient funds at the time of transactions. This is absolutely crazy because basically what they're saying is Navy Federal intentionally charged people overdraft fees even when they had money in their accounts. But wait, wait, it doesn't just stop there. When customers received money through payment services like Zelle, PayPal, and Cash App, Navy Federal System showed the money as immediately available to spend. However, the credit union failed to disclose that payments received after 10 a.m. Eastern and later after 8 p.m. Eastern wouldn't actually post until the next business day. Some customers who tried to use their money were then charged overdraft fees. Through this practice, Navy Federal collected at least $4 million in fees. So if you were a Navy Federal member from 2017 to 2022 and you were hit with overdraft fees and you know for a fact that you had money in your account or if you had money transferred to you through Zelle, PayPal, Cash App or Venmo and the money said it was available and it wasn't, then you are also entitled to some money. You got to hear this part. Through its optional overdraft protection service known as OOPS, Navy Federal charged consumers $20 for overdraft overdraft transactions, the credit union collected nearly $1 billion in overdraft fees from 2017 to 2021. That is outrageous. So the credit union showed incoming payments from services like Zelle, PayPal, and Cash App as available to spend, but failed to disclose that payments received after specific cutoff times would not post until the next business days, while still charging overdraft fees to some customers who attempted to use the apparently available funds. Now this is really crazy. You got to tell me in the comments what you think. Is Navy Federal really falling off? Have they been doing all types of other shady business on top of this? Because there are two other class action lawsuits actively against them right now as we speak. I want to give a special shout out to all my beasters out there that are working hard to fix their credit using Dispute Beast, the most advanced AI credit repair software ever created. And specifically to Wesley, whose Wesley's credit score went up over 226 points after just two rounds with dispute beast and also Marcus. Marcus's credit score went up 337 points after just two rounds with dispute beast. And let's not forget Richard. Richard's credit score went up 446 points after just one round with Dispute Beast. Dispute Beast is going to be pinned at the very top of the comments and in the video description for anybody that needs to fix their credit. Last part's the most important. So what exactly is the CFPB going to make Navy Federal do? So the enforcement action, the CFPB orders obtains more than 80 million in consumer redress. Navy Federal must refund overdraft fees and properly charge to affected consumers. It bans Navy Federal from charging certain overdraft fees altogether. The credit union can no longer charge overdraft fees resulting from insufficient funds at the time of processing despite sufficient funds when the transaction action occurred or overdraft fees resulting from the delayed posting of funds received through peer-to-peer -peer payment networks. It also requires Navy Federal to pay a $15 million fine. Navy Federal will pay $15 million civil penalty to the CFPB's Victims Relief Fund. So remember, if you were charged an overdraft fee from 2017 to 2022, whether it be from your checking account or if you used a peer-to-peer -peer service like Zelle, PayPal, or 
Cash App and you were hit with an overdraft fee, but you had funds in your account, you are going to be entitled to part of this money. Now, I will make sure to put the link for the CFPB's website for this story inside of the video description. And there, if you scroll to the very bottom, you can go that down there and see the CFPB's Victim Relief Fund. You want to make sure that you pay attention. The moment you see Navy Federal's name pop up on there, then you need to submit your information so they know that you were affected. Now, some people will actually be reached out to by Navy Federal or the CFPB themselves, or some people may just wind up getting checks in the mail if you're still at the same address. But remember, you need to track the CFPB's Victim Relief Fund if you were affected. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We covered another big one with the CFPB catching Navy Federal, charging people overdraft fees that they did not actually have to charge them. Now make sure that you watch this next video because it is about another credit union that you may want to learn about. And if you felt that I brought you some value in this video, make sure that you don't forget and subscribe to increase your credit score.